Hey everybody, VengeFox here. We're back in Astroneer. In the last episode, we um, discovered a cave and some copper. <laughs> now I want to find some aluminium. This is very peaceful, isn't it? Just notice that we're just sort of staring at this. Very, very peaceful. That's cool. Okay, anyway, so we'll hop out of our little capsule. Make sure we're running the right way. We need to find some aluminium in order to build this vehicle bay. And then we need more aluminium to build a vehicle. So for now, what we need to do is get back in our cave. Now the easiest way is this way. Oh, do you know what? I'm going to have to fix this bug that I've got. Again, more tethers. Tethers everywhere and some more power. That's fine. Okay, good. Because we'll use that power up pretty quickly once we get into the cave. Once we start digging around. Getting out of the way, rock. Okay, so let's get back in the cave. Here it is. Boing! <laughs> kind of semi-sliding and hurting myself at the same time. You need to kind of control your descent in this game a little bit. Because they can start sliding around and then... And it all goes to shit, basically. If you can dig this out, does it do anything? It's just a hoverer. Yeah, it's a hoverer. <laughs> oh no, we're going to get stuck. Okay, we don't want to make too many holes we can get stuck in. Okay, those green blobs over there are going to cause me issues, so... We'll stay away from there. We need to find some aluminium, so let's do that. Or at least... Something that makes aluminium. So that's hydrazine, that's fuel. That's not going to be overly useful to us right now. That's fuel. Let's get some more of this. Oxygen. Oh, what's this? This looks promising. Aluminium ore, yes! This is exactly what we were after. Okay, so let's get a bunch of this. What was that called? Laterite. Okay, we're good, we're good. Oh, it's a little bit more. We don't want to leave any behind, because we need... We need a few. Okay, so we got at least three. That's good. Oh, there's some more over here, though. What is this? Is this water? No, it's not water. Okay, I thought for a second then that was water. That worried me, because I don't know what water does. In fact, I don't think there is any water. <laughs> I don't think there's any water in the game, so it wouldn't make any sense to me. Um, right, I need to start worrying about oxygen a little more now. Is there any blue? There is some blue, some blue over here. But there's a green plant over there. I don't want to attract any clouds. Okay, oxygen. Oh, no, 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 I oh, dropped my oxygen. It sounded an awful like there were footsteps going on there. That was a little worrying. Right, let's chuck some laterite on the side. Uh, I need this laterite. Thank you. I need you. Um, and oxygen, I need you too. Right, okay, I think that's almost enough. Right, we've got another laterite that I can't carry. It was probably a bad idea. Um, Let's carve some of this way, so we can get out the other end if we need to. Well, there's still some more lads right under here. Wow, there's loads of it. Now I've got two that I can't carry. I don't know why I'm doing this. <laughs> Let's have a look. Um, we could probably place some tethers soon enough, or if I just chuck that power out, that's nowhere near as valuable as laterite. Okay, we're good. We should probably head back, because we're running out of oxygen now. Oh, there's some more latter right here. Oh, that's so bad. Okay. Let's make our way back. Uh, okay. <laughs> there's, there's the tether. We're gonna get there, don't worry. We have to, really, to be honest, so. There we are. Okay, we'll carry this last bit of latter right back with us. That was actually a little bit closer than it should have been. I should have tethered all the way there. I had loads of tethers to go with me. Just didn't. 
Okay, where are we going? This way, let's roll. Straight back, got a full tank of oxygen. Let's just go all the way there. Now that we have this laterite, right, as long as we've got some energy, uh, I don't know if the sun's been up, but we should be able to make a fair amount of this stuff. Right, so let's put that on there. That one, that one, and that one. Okay, but we want to pick these up. Otherwise, we're not going to get... Um, that said, with those solar panels there, I'm not going to be able to... I'm not going to be able to harvest all four. So if, if we take two of those off for now. Okay. And chuck them down here. One. Two. Okay. It's got a couple of bits of aluminium. Weird. So it doesn't matter how many you put on there, it always uses the full tank of energy, which is a little annoying. But not not a massive issue, right? We've got copper up there, that's not that's not, <laughs> that's not what we want. We want aluminium. Chuck it over there. We don't have to put it in our backpack, even though we haven't got space. So if I chuck another aluminium on there, and that aluminium on there. Vehicle bay! When this is building, get out of the way. Because it puts this panel down here. And if you're standing there, you can get locked underneath it. I did that in my other world and it pissed me off. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you. It pissed me off. Okay, so vehicle bay. We've got no power for this vehicle bay. Um, and we've got no compound to make more solar panels. So what I'm going to do... Um, sun's going to be up soon. I'm going to move these solar panels over there. And put that, that lithium can go over there. In a minute. It's because I can't see that. There you go. Right, lithium, sit down. Be nice. Uh, what does lithium do? Nothing. It just makes batteries, doesn't it? Okay. We're looking all right at the moment, but we need some compound. We got way too much of this laterite and stuff. Let's chuck all this on here for now. What about you, have you got any spaces? Yeah, you can go on there as well. Got some more tethers, but that's not really a big issue. We need some compound. I'm sure we had compound in this direction. Whether or not it was just a field of compound or whether it was a renewable source, I can't remember. That's the problem. Uh, it looks... It looks like it was just a field. Small resin. Yeah, you see, we had we had energy, but no actual compound renewable. Okay, about here. Let's grab some of this. Need a couple of of tubs worth, a couple of containers worth. That should help us um, making some more solar panels, basically. Did I get any compound out of that? Yes, but it's at the bottom. Okay, that's fine. Just run back over here for some more power. It looks like we're out of compound on this one. See, I'm not getting power through the line either. The sun's up. I should be getting power. So I'm not really getting any power transported between... Ah, oh, there we go. I'm getting power now. From the solar panels back home. But they're not feeding each other. Which I find really weird. Let's get some of this. Okay. Right. What we need to do is dig down a little bit more. See if there's any compound that we can get to. Doesn't look like it. Nope. Nope. Any more in here? Usually when you dig down you find like a little bit more. Doesn't seem to want to provide today though, does it? Okay, that's fine. Are there any more compounds lying around? Maybe this big rock. 
Big Rock doesn't want to give me any compound either. You wouldn't think it'd be so hard to find. But it's not as common as you might think. Okay, there's another cave there. Let's head back to the line and maybe tether out to it. It might be something worth finding in there. I'd like to think so anyway. So, uh, plonk. Okay, it's not too far actually. We should be able to tether out to this really easily. Got loads of tethers. Should free up some space as well. Loads of tethers. Oop. Get one more in here. Right. So now we're we're in another cave. Two caves. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. Tethered into two caves just from like our very first starting zone here. That's not bad at all. Let's grab some oxygen while we're here. So we can run around without using our tethers all the time. Okay. Let's get some more tether. This place is darker. The tethers are useful because they give you a lot of light as well. Right. Just have a quick look around and see if there's anything really obviously awesome. Not so far. Just another... another big drop. Anything with a big drop in is just like... super bad. <laughs> you got to get your way back out. What's that over there? And even big and green generally is a bad idea to go near, but I'm going to have a quick look. Some more hydrogen fuel there. Right, let's take this back since that's where we're going. And we'll head home. Make the compound. Get the solar panel up on the vehicle yard. Make some more aluminium and then hopefully we'll be able to make our vehicle. I don't know. Um, I think once it's done, we're still going to have to be limited by fuel. We've got a little bit of fuel, but not a lot. So I'm interested. I think you can probably run the vehicles by solar power. I don't know. But then you could only run it during the day. It's, I haven't had a vehicle yet, so... We'll see when we get back. While I've got oxygen, I'm just going to run this way. <laughs> the direct route. You need a vehicle, really. If you park the vehicle up outside the cave, then you can load these research modules up onto the vehicle instead of having to run back with them. Because they're quite annoying to run with. The camera doesn't really work particularly well with them. It kind of waves them around and stuff. Let's get this on here. Right, you research that. It's saying, would you like a rover? See, look, now... Now the energy is being passed between the places. But not to the smelter. <laughs> I don't know why that is. Genuinely, it seems really odd. Um, and all we got from this was a little bit more lithium, so that's not going to... Well, I mean, it's a battery, isn't it? Might be a way to run our vehicles. Um, smelter, I need to use you. Right, okay. So, what do we need? We need a couple of bits of compound to make a solar panel. So, click that. Did I not get enough compound? I didn't, because I didn't find any in the cave. That sucks! And the sun just went in. Okay. Fine. <laughs> I need four lots of compound for a rover. I can build a shuttle to get to another place. Or I need two bits of aluminium for a truck. So I think my mission is to go and get some more compound. Like a lot of it, really. Ideally. If I just take a load of oxygen. Right, let's roll. Need to find a good place to find some compound and get a lot of it. Boing! And not go so far that I die. 
That's kind of the trick. Yeah, that's where I found compound before. There's a little bit in there. Take that. I can't pick it up. Isn't that typical? Oh, and I've got two bits of copper on my side. Ah, oh, that's what I was going to use. Okay, we'll put that bit of copper there. Okay, and we've opened up another one with some oxygen use, so we should be able to get some of this out of the way. No, that looks like all of it for the copper there, uh, compound even. There's another cave! There's a load of caves in this map. Compound! A lot of compound. Okay, what is that over there? Okay, so we've got some more compound. We're about to use up another oxygen pod, so... Keep going, I'll run out of power already. So that's three lots of compound we've got. That is enough. That is enough to get going. Another bit of compound. We've got nothing running out anytime soon. I could just drop it ever. Just drop it ever. Boop. <laughs> okay. That's enough though. For now, anyway. We can get back and we can start making stuff. Another solar panel would be useful. Or even a wind vane, really. Anything that that will allow us to just generate energy at night at the moment it would be really good. So the sun's about to come up though by the looks of it. It's getting slightly brighter, the clouds are getting to illuminate a bit. So maybe we can we can smelt this. So if I put Right, those three bits on there. Um Right, we're going to smell all four bits of laterite this time around. First of all, put another compound. We don't need seat. Or storage, we need solar panel. I wonder if a solar panel will work on the back of the capsule. Because to me, that suggests that that would feed everything much better. Oh no, it doesn't doesn't attach to the back of the capsule at all. That's a little annoying. Because you really want this storage. Well, actually that's a good thought. What about storage? I, I kind of need you to have energy now, please. <laughs> Pain in the bum. Um, yeah, I wonder if I, if I make storage out of this. Whether it will sit on the side of the smelter and sort of accept whatever's there. Sun please, lots to do. Uh, so we need two bits of aluminium on there and that will make our truck. I'm so excited to make a truck at the moment, it just needs to happen. But the sun needs to come up like pronto. Le pronto please. How about these pods? Can we, can we grab a pod? And then have another go at this. So I can just grab the pods from the trees nearby. I should be doing that. I really should. More lithium! Is this a good thing? I don't know. I can never really tell. But we'll chuck it up there. It looks funny, like a big sponge on the back of that. Sun's coming soon. Look at those three planets that I'll be able to travel soon. Very soon, hopefully. This truck should help. Okay, we've got loads more lithium on the side down here I didn't think about. Okay, we'll chuck this one on the back of here. Yeah, there we go. Big sponge. And we'll save it quick. The sun's up. Yes, solar panels are out. Boom. Let's roll. Okay, so we want to make one storage. One storage. Okay. Boom. Boom. If I put that on the side of the smelter, then hopefully that will accept. Assuming I can put it on the side of the smelter, hopefully it will accept the aluminium that gets made. Okay, let's roll. Awesome! Okay, let's see if this is going to work. That's a pretty beautiful thing. <laughs> I think you'll agree. <laughs> That's pretty amazing. I'm pretty happy with that. Okay. Let's take them off then. 
Um, and oh, I need another aluminium. I thought I only needed two, but there's one on each side. So let's create this truck. <gasps> we'll make it a truck. Look at that. That's so cool. This is the 3D printing of the future. This is exactly how it's going to work. <laughs> Fuck me. That was mental. Look at this. Look at the battery pack on the back. So should I... I need to make a seat. Clearly. I don't think we're going to be able to ride this today. I just, just want to point out. I think we need to make a seat. And like some storage units. And then probably like a solar panel or a big battery or something. Oh, we can make a seat. Um, but I need a couple of compounds for that. And I just, I don't have that next compound. Storm. Storm. It's a storm. Okay. Oh, that is so cool though. How much energy it collects. I wonder how much of that is going to get used though. Like, how quickly. Oh, this storm is it going straight through. Uh, I can't tell. Nah, it looks like it's going to pass us by. No, 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 it's right on top of us. This is what happens when it gets really bad. It can damage things, I think. If it hits you, certainly, those rocks hurt like hell. I hope it doesn't damage vehicles and stuff. It did hit my car! <laughs> you son of a bitch! Stay away from my rover! It's so crazy. I love this game so much. Whew! It didn't destroy anything. If that destroyed my rover, that would have been... A sign from God or something. <laughs> you deserve no rover smash. Oh, it's a truck as well. Actually, it's a good. It's a good vehicle, guys. I leave it there today because we've made so much progress. It's looking good. If you enjoyed this, please click like and subscribe, and I will join you for, me no <laughs> for more Australia next time. You stay foxy. Bye bye for now. Oh dear. Tongue tied. <laughs>